oh sorry are you famous and they go i'm kevin hart this game is called weird words i'm going to show you weird word and you have to speculate what that word means Got it. in your classically quirky British comedy style, <laughs> and then I will make a sexual or racial joke in my classic American style, and then we'll agree to disagree, okay? Yeah, fine, I'm not up for that. All right, first one is spang you. What is spang you? Spang you, uh, that's a type of apology where you know that you haven't done the thing you're apologizing for. Oh, okay. I think that it is a neighborhood in Berlin. It's to throw violently into the air, especially to throw a frog into the air from the end of a stick. That's fake and made up. Is that, that made up? No, it's not made up. They, they're saying it's real, but I don't know whether I should that, trust my producers. Throwing something from the end of a stick is like those things dog walkers have, where it's like a sort of an arc uh, plastic oh, those things, yeah. thing, but with one with a frog. Yes. Yeah, are, you, are you not familiar with frog gigging? Frog gigging, no. Frog gigging is where you take a three-pronged stick and you go out to where there are frogs and then you put a flashlight on them. Usually, if people are doing this as a date, because my parents did this as their third date, the girl holds the flashlight and it makes the frogs like be scared of the light and then the man goes up behind them or whoever it's a, you can date whoever you want and stabs them with the three pronged stick and then puts them in a sack and then takes them back and then one of the people has to cook them it doesn't have to be the lady oh. but it was my mom but if that exists and that's a real thing then spa spanguing can with all due exist. respect to your culture and your parents that's the worst thing i've ever heard i uh, no one's saying my culture is good okay I am rural California trash, and I understand it. I have a beautiful oh, okay. book about it, My Life as a Goddess, available wherever books are sold. Uh, Duna, du Duna Duarte. Duna Duarte, that is uh, a Spanish state where you discover your wife with a lover. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's uh, like an Oh, energy. Duna Duarte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was more Italian. I also think it comes to us from the Spanish-speaking world. I think Duna Duarte is like a thick caramel-like substance with, um, with a vinegary tang at the end you eat with shrimp. It's a verb meaning to overuse a word or phrase that has been recently added to one's vocabulary. Blah, blah, blah. You have to get a plane. You're looking at your watch, I understand. Travel I, I hope I wasn't doing it on camera, I was just discreetly aware that I have to no, get a plane. No, 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 you're a goddamn professional. I've got okay? an alism coming up that I can't miss. An alism? Yeah. What's an alism? Let's play the game one more time. Okay, but tell us what alism means. It's the next word on the oh. card. Oh, I'm sorry. There was an open goal there, but it's okay. He was making a call forward, <laughs> um, which is breaking the time-space continuum in comedy, which I think is this sort of like outside-of-the-box thing you learn from being a street performer. Okay, what's an alism? Uh, it's an appointment with an aeroplane uh, safety guy. All right. Um, uh, what, what, what airline are you flying? Oh, I don't, I don't actually know. Air Canada, I think. Oh, okay. Do you have status with them? Uh, what does that mean? Never Do mind. they know me? Like they don't you, know me. Okay. An alism is the feeling of restlessness or frustrated boredom that comes from being unwell. Oh, yeah. 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 But you seem very well, Stuart. You seem Thanks, like man. together and happy. I don't know if it's just good hair and a clean white t-shirt. Hey, um, listen, that's a potential show title for my next <laughs> Edinburgh exploration of my psyche. It's delightful getting to know you. Thanks so much for having me. You guys, Stuart Goldsmith. Thank you. I'm Guy Branham. This is Bar Talk at JFL. That's Bar Talk at JFL. It's over now. Thank you for watching. Now I'm off the clock. Barkeep, more vodka.